Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Vanessa Bling is showing us her new G-Wagon. She made this post on Instagram with the caption, Busy in my own lane with the G-Wagon. Did I choose the right color? Hashtag 2025, hashtag focused, hashtag G-Wagon. The profits are coming out massive. They are coming out. Here is this profit with a message for Vibes Cartel. Good morning, TikTok. Good morning. Vibes Cartel, I come with a message for you. I come with a serious message for you this morning, Vibes Cartel. Rabush. Vibes Cartel, there is a spirit upon you. Vibes Cartel, I know that you're happy that you're a free man. But also think in the box because you're an educated man as well. I'm seeing a spirit upon your cartel, a spirit that has come to draw you down. A spirit that's set to draw, rab, oh, oh, shady, hey, bashara. A spirit that come to draw you down, vice cartel, hey, bashara, hey, bo, shady, hey, bush. And vice cartel, if you not give your life to God, I love all your state that you're a married man, or you're about to get married. You need to give your life to God, Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel, I see the spirit of witch and wizard upon you. I see maroon spirit upon you. I see Jezebelite spirit, every spirit in place upon you. And they're about to take you down. Vibes Cartel, me know, say, you say, you dance all. Godfather. Or whatever you want to put it. But remember that nobody no bigger than God. And I would advise you to try and change yourself now before it is too late. Give your life to God. Because I see you going down. They have working constantly against you in the spiritual realms. Altar has set up for you. Give your rebush. Basarara. Five cartel. Give your life to God. You Do ask it. talent. Put the talent in gospel. Put the talent in something. Don't waste it. But if you don't change, it is wasting. God blessed you as I leave this message. Set the Lord. So Vibes Cartel went to the doctor and he shared it online. Check out this clip. You want the patient okay. to see? Okay, okay. Now yes. But Apple Fissy World Boss are taking health very seriously. I see people commenting online saying that he's looking healthier already. So that's some good news for the Gaza fans. Much better. Go on. Gaza near shot. You know, some day a while ago, I drive with my fiance. We're pretty like Beyonce. That's and Scatter called me. And I said, Teacher, I want a name for the show. And I say, eh. You know, so where I get the fans them involved, because the problem here, I got easier to solve. So, I link up right now, Gaza Nation. And I said to him, I say, Me, Scatter, and Joe, we need a name for the December show. So just put an idea in the comments below. Do? Oh. Come on. Respect, God tell boss of the world. Oh. And few things me want to talk about. Uh -huh. The first. I you wonder? Me want to have sing about conscious music now. Positivity, you know what I mean? Me want to have sing about the Protest in Kenya, uh -huh. corrupt bomb class in the government. Uh -huh. Member, continue. Me now go support things like Gala wine, Gala bubble, Gala this, Gala that. Respect, Adi Palma. 
in a smoky mood. Spice was on her live massive and she get bringle when someone made the comment that she should get a man to help her with her bugs. <laughs> Check this out. Somebody said, where's your man to help with the bags? I don't have a man. I'm a single woman. I need a man to help with the bills. I can lift these bags by myself. Let's be very clear. So get your argument together straight. No, and unfortunately, me can't seem to find a man to help with the bills because when him come and find out that me have so much money, he want me to spend my money. I mean, I spend my money for a boy. So now I found a feel like, say, I mean, no want the man them because if you come run me, you have to come good. Come I and walk so hard to come take care of nobody boy pick me. You never know. They come ask me for a man like me, tell them I want a man to help me carry suitcase. I want a man to help me with the bills them. <laughs> when I hear when me song, say, I have an ex boyfriend and I'm looking for a next boyfriend. You walk me for ears well and listen. Once you come into my life and you don't fit the criteria where me you want, you have to get going. You cannot get comfortable with me now no dumpling for you. You look like mascot too, no? You still look for me good if you look like me a mascot. Yeah. With the girl, I'm going to pin her comments to come talk, but I need a man to help me with the bag. I don't want no man to help me with the bag. White and fiesty. Pin. Powell. Powell, Kevin, let me talk to you good. Are you me a come for? You me come out. I never tell you, sir, I want a man to help me with no bag, no suitcase. <laughs> me need a nice God-fearing man. A man who want to pray with me. Because Amen. if a man is not going to be led by God, he cannot lead me. And some of them dirty man, you, you, you start to talk to them in a relationship, they never know God. They never have time to read a verse from the Bible. In order for a man to lead me, and for me to submit to a man, he must be very obedient to God. So we could start there, because someone who don't really understand and have the knowledge, you know, just take up any man and stick with them, and some of them are beat in the house, and they don't want to come out. Because they want to prove to the next girl, so they can hold the man long. So let me explain something to you, why me have an ex-boyfriend, and I look to your ex-boyfriend. Once a man come into my life, and I see him come with a red flag, he cannot stay, I don't care how good he want to be. The man has to be a very good man. Let me explain something to you. If me walk, me not pull in my own door. You have to open my door for me because I'm a lady and I'm, you're going to treat me as such. Mm -hmm. If you talk to me and you not talk to me proper and I feel like you're not dealing with no respect, you can go because guess what? You have to respect me in order for me to respect you. If me have an inch of thoughts, if me go on my bed and dream, say you cheat for me. Me not want you. You have to go, go in. Let me explain something to you. Now. If me have a dream, say you cheat for me, me nobody want you. <laughs> <laughs> because it must be a reason why I go to my bed and dream say I cheat. So you see, if me are there, I'm going to find proof. And I go to my bed, go dream say I cheat. I'm going to watch something I go on. Because it must be a reason. Something I, something I reveal to me. So if me have a dream say I cheat, I'm going to be a want him. Hello, bestie. I'm in a business with nobody business. <laughs> That's why I never go out to my business with nobody business. Let me tell you the next thing now. You see, if you have a man, and I talk to him and he not have a relationship with his mother, me not bother want him. That's true. That's not a discipline. I want a man there, none at all. So, my list is long, you know. If you come and tell me, say, your yeah, mother is a problem, me not bother want yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you so much. True, <laughs> if you have a girl from before me, he might feel like say, I want to hear about the girl. Mm -hmm. But if you might talk about the girl and I disrespect the girl, me not bother want you either. Because that. Me gone. Me catch my fly. See, if you want this up the girl, let me see what we got this thing up. So if you not a respect for woman, me not want him. Why do you say she Me not want no dirty man. So woman can't make your ass this That me I tell you. So let me talk to you nice and proper because someone want to take man out and no one want to take You never understand. You girl, me not want a man to help me carry no bag. Me want a nice, respectable man. We need a nice man that's suitable for, to be a husband. And that unfortunately comes with you being a father figure. Someone that I can look up to. Someone that comes with respect. Someone that has a pride and dignity. One man with full of grace. Me I look for a man where... Yeah, but me talk to you, girl. Because someone here me I say, I have an ex-boyfriend and I'm looking for a next boyfriend. I got another ex-boyfriend. Yeah, I'm looking for a next boyfriend. Once you come into my life and use an ex, I'm looking for a next. There's a lot of things that I look for in a man. And unfortunately, dating for me, a lot of you men like to say, strong women come with masculine energy. If you can't put me in my feminine energy, I am going to give you my masculine energy. If we're going to be inside of the house and I have to take out the garbage or I have to remind you that it needs to come out, I don't want you. 
you is not the man for me. If we in a the house and one of the kitchen cupboard broke off, I'm have to tell you, so if you fix it, you are not the man for me. I'm sorry. So again, a lot of you see me and I sing a certain types of song, and you use that to judge me. But let me explain something to you. I'm a woman of pride and class and dignity. That is why when a lot of people speak about me, I'm able to go on and online. I'm can answer them. I'm can diss up anybody because nobody has no secret for me. Yeah. Me, Gracie, can do that. Yeah. So let, let's talk about it. Me is a woman with class, pride and dignity. Yeah. So once again, Powell, I'm sorry to bust your bubble. I don't need a man to help me to bring the bag. I need more than that. I need more than that. I can lift my own bag. Spice, one day, one day, you're going to find that man who make you can shift in your feminine energy. Not true, myself. Budja Banton's interview with Drink Champs is going far and wide. Listen to what this African has to say. There's a trending video of Budja Banton talking about the state of African music today. Kenya is suffering. People of, the young men of Kenya are revolting. South Africa is on a, um, Sudan, South Sudan, you name it. But which one of these songs can I relate to for a peace of mind to tell me that I'm in the struggle and we are going to be better in the struggle. And even though the struggle is hard, we're going to overcome. Tell me. But when we look at what they're doing, their music is not free in Africa. It's great. Musician out of Africa was Fela Kute, mm -hmm. Lucky Dube from South Africa. We had Salif Keita. We have Yusu Endor. We have Baba Mal. Now, no one wanted to go beyond the pale of what those brothers was doing. We need to free Africa. If I am all the way in Jamaica and my, and my country and my people fight for free, you're a continent with world sound and power. And you have the ability now and all you're singing is for free. You don't sing a song to free Africa all now. Mm. We need them bringing this to the forefront of your mind, but we desire more from them. Ooh, you want man. the money? Go get it. But what's going to be said about you later on and your posterity? He didn't make any impact. Buju Banton says in this trending video that African music has lost its way. African music is not reflecting exactly what's going on on the ground in Africa. He says African music today is all about, in his words, fuckery. And I agree with him. When he says it's all about fuckery, he means that African music now it's all about childishness. It's all about romance and everything. But Africa is still going through a lot of oppression from the West. Africa is still dominated. And Buju Banton goes on to point out that the greatest musicians to ever come out of the African continent are Lucky Dube, Felakuti, and Salif Keita, and others like Yusundu and Baba Ma. Because these musicians were speaking to the issues of Africanness. They were real Pan-Africanists. They spoke about the oppression that the people of Africa were facing. For example, Lucky Dube was singing about apartheid. He cried and sang and wailed and mourned about the end of apartheid in South Africa. Felakuti was also another musician who was known by Nigerians to be very much against the government. And he dissed the politicians at any chance he got. He sang so many songs about the bad governance in Nigeria and how Nigerians were being marginalized by their own people in Nigeria. Salif Keita also sang about the military rule in Mali, how he was displeased about the kind of leadership that Mali had at the time. Bojo Banton is speaking to this today, saying all these artists in Africa, they're only singing about fun. They're only singing about me and my baby girl on Friday night. But they're not talking or speaking to the issues that are affecting the people of Africa. Despite them having a platform and they're reaching millions of people worldwide. But they're not using this opportunity. And Buju Banton finishes by saying, you will be popular. You will, you will make all the money. But once you are done, once you are no longer as big as you are, what will people remember you for? All these big artists, all the Davidos of the day, all the Diamond Platinums of the day, all the Burner Boys of the day, 
when you are done and gone what will people remember you for and for this i say kudos to buju banton Nikki Z was on threads. It seems like she was commenting on the Buja Bantan's interview. She said, While a few Jamaican dancehall and reggae artists are busy spreading bad and false energy about African artists, every country I've been in Africa, the people ask, Why do so many Jamaican artists sing about Africa, but they don't come here? They don't spend time with the people. Tell me how to answer this question. I truly want to know how you would respond to this very valid question. How can you speak on a culture you barely spend time with outside of when a booking comes? Who can answer the question for Nikki Z? Enhanced management team urges bloggers to see spreading false rumors. Dancehall artist Enhance management team kindly requests that all bloggers and media outlets stop spreading false rumors regarding the artist's lineage. Recently, unverified claims have circulated suggesting that Enhance is the son of dancehall superstar Vibes Cartel. Ashiba, make sure you make the man know that Enhance is you know. The man go around that thing, you know. Make a man know now because the man they are run. Say, so, enhance a fame. You hear that? World boss. These unfounding rumors have created unnecessary challenges for the artist, drawing undue attention from law enforcement authorities. The situation took a troubling turn last night when police stopped Enhance. His vehicle was searched and he was unjustly arrested. The management team believes these actions were influenced by the circulating rumors. Enhance and his mother have publicly addressed the situation, clearly stating that he is not Vibes Cartel's son. Enhance's manager expressed concern over the impact of these rumors. He said, and I quote, These claims are causing undue stress and challenges for Enhance, both personally and professionally. We respectfully ask bloggers and media outlets to refrain from spreading misinformation. Enhance is focused on his music and building his brand, and he must be allowed to do so without the distraction of unfounded rumors. Unquote. The management team emphasizes that their primary focus remains on promoting enhances, music, and continuing to dominate the music industry with powerful tracks and positive messages. The artist is committed to his craft, and the team is dedicated to ensuring his success and growth within the industry. The management team appreciates their understanding and cooperation in putting an end to the spread of these false claims. Well, there you have it, Massive Enhance has stated clearly he's not Vibes Cartel's son, so no need to stop spread those rumors. So that's it for today, Massive Montana. Big up on a nice, clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the Massive. I'm out of Massey, Magan. Mauta Massey. Mauta Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe now. now. now.